welcome back to Tinchy World and thank you so much for waiting so patiently. Now I'll be talking about a very common problem that every teenager people probably has. This is about phone versus parents. Totally two enemies at home. <laughs> LOL. Now I'll be start by saying five problems that teenagers think it's a very big problem. Number one, we come from our school and then um, we check Facebook or whatever, Instagram or anything, something like that. And then our parents come into your room and says, why are you on your phone already? You, you just came from school. The answer is yes, we came from school after eight hours of lessons and now we're just relaxing looking at our phone, right? Number two. Um, Number two is, you say, okay, mom, I'll put away my phone after, let's say, 10 minutes. But as soon as five minutes are gone, they come into your room and, what are you doing on your phone? Number two. Number three is that when you study for two hours, they never enter your room, but as soon as you take the phone for five minutes to relax, they start they come into your room and misunderstanding starts. Number three is checking our phones. And number four is um, saying you won't be getting your phone for two days. Like the most dangerous thing ever. Now I'll be talking about the problems that our parents have with the phones. When we have it, not when them have it. Number one is when they say, become more social, you're always on your phone. Well, we think that we are social already, but at a certain point, if you think about it deeply, yes, uh, we, we get so addicted to our phones sometimes that we don't even realize that we haven't talked to our family for so long. Number two is um, when they check our phones. They check it because they want to protect us, they care about our safety. And that is true, especially in 2016, because cyberbullying is something really, really common nowadays. And number three is when they say, there is a distance growing between me and you due to your phone. Well, that's the most hurtful thing that our parents could ever say. But if you think deeply about it, at some point it is true phone does create distance between parents when uh, we get so addicted to our phones that we don't we can't even hear our mom or our dad when they call us anyway what are your views on this problem that if, um, like, we have? I think that parents are just thinking out for you and you know taking care of care of you um, probably because they care about you and they want you to be more social and that's probably one reason why my mum kind of got me into dance and singing because she doesn't want my future to be just over the internet, over, you know, being on social media. She wants us to have a bit of Bengali culture in us. So mm -hmm. that's why my parents kind of decided to, you know, make us go to like schools and, you know, have a bit of Bengali culture in us. Mm, and that's a good idea, I think so. But for those who have a huge problem about it, <coughs> I'll give you the solution. Talk. It goes for both parents and the child. Talk, but peacefully. No arguments. Peacefully. When you talk peacefully, you can share whatever you think, whatever you are thinking, and your parents can share with you whatever they are thinking. And if you guys do share these things, there will be less misunderstanding and more love between our parents and us. So I think that you love games, don't you? Yes. So does your mom ever shout at you for um, playing games for too long in your tab or her phone? Yeah, she really does. She gets really furious and gets really angry. Mm. So, when she gets furious, you have to understand that she's saying it for your own good, okay? <laughs> anyway, your sister before said that she loves dancing, singing, etc. Um, what do you sing? What, what do you do during your free time? I do uh, dancing and singing as well. Really? Then why don't you sing a song for us? Okay.
एक बार जीती थी ना सुनागा एक बार जीती थी ना सुनागा जेताई को किला के कहो दो के मोह मोह नदी जताई छुट्टी चले आप एक बार जीते देना मा छुट्टो सुनागा teach us every Friday and his name is Hirok Uncle. Oh, well, how old are you when you learnt singing? Um, seven or six. Oh wow, how old are you now? 
a uh, 10. Oh, you've got such beautiful voice. You too, you've got like a brilliant thank you. Thank voice. You. So guys, thank you for joining our show today. And viewers, this is the end for today. I don't want to go, but this is the end for today. So, um, as you know, um, they were brilliant and the show is on every other Saturday. So don't forget to watch us on 12th of March, which is the Saturday after next Saturday. And do, and do something today that your future self will thank you for. Bye. <laughs>